Hey YouTubers, a couple of days after our tomorrow's eclipse, been hearing little snippets about an exercise that they're going to have concerning natural disasters and such. Well, there's been a lot of people that have been speaking on they're planning something, what have you. So this is what it's all about right here. August 23rd, they're going to have an all-sector response transitional hazard exercise, and this is the information. And I'll put this link in the description box so you can come and read it yourself and make your own decision and be informed on what information they have on this site about it. And it goes to describe how your infrastructure is is uh, pretty well all netted together. And what is what what would the ramifications be if it was interrupted? Now the ones that are going to participate are your electric, oil, national natural gas, your water, your first responders, the police and the ambulance and such, other unnamed private sector corporations, your energy, emergency, critical infrastructure, your health, regulatory security and defense. Well, they call these severe or natural black sky hazards that are associated with subcontinent scale long duration power outages and failure of the other pieces of your infrastructure. <clears throat> well, they say this could create a, a bad situation Sector by sector planning is crucial. To be effective, you have to practice what you're going to do. Go down to the next little snippet of information. They're going to tell you what, what this Earth EX is. And it's a, a partnership designed to meet, meet this need. This practice need of what if, what happens if this happens, and what are we going to do about it? Why Earth EX? It's an opportunity to see if you're prepared, you can respond, and you can get things back up and going. And these are priorities, executive and senior operational decision making, initiating, coordinating initial sector response, restoration acts, multi sector emergency communications coordination, and developing recommendations for improving the support and resilience. So decisions decision making for disrupted scenarios it's going to simulate subcontinent scale long duration power outage which will cascade failures of all the other infrastructure and this little practice run is going to give the decision makers a chance to decide and order out what what they would do in this situation it looks like okay specific features are electric subsector it's going to give them an opportunity to evaluate their priorities 
You're going to have some other sectors involved. Assessing what has happened, making decisions on what to do. And you got your individual and family lane. They're going to evaluate personal preparedness and train for severe outage scenarios. Dynamic multi-phase four-hour exercise. This includes three one-hour dynamic exercise phases with different aspects of the response and recovery timeline. Each phase begins with a framing scenario inject using sector-specific injects for each exercise lane developed by the key stakeholders in that sector. And these are your black sky hazards. And it is a, as I said, pretty well described, catastrophic event which disrupts the normal functioning of our critical infrastructures in more than one region for a long time. And you go down, it's got some definitions here. Your man-made hazard, one thing they would be looking at that could be possible, EMP. Electromagnetic pulse at high altitude. An IEMI. Device that causes electromagnetic pulse. Cyber terrorism. A coordinated actual physical assault on power grids or other infrastructures, which could give you power loss. You've got natural hazards, seismic event, earthquakes, geomagnetic disturbance of space weather. You could have some sun incident or other type in space. Hurricanes and other severe weather events. So once you get over and, if you want to, once you get over and start reading all this stuff, you'll get about as much out of it as a, whatever information they have provided here. If you think back to Jade Helm, a lot of stuff went around there and they thought they was going to round people up. And, and what it turned out to be was you weren't actually seeing real people get rounded up. They were just people hired to act like people they were rounded up, okay? You know that by now. That, that's what I leaned towards back then, and that's the information that has come out now as to what it actually was. It was actually a fact-finding mission. And I thought it had more to do with the AI than anything, like a like a little kid learns things as it grows up. They were just seeing what everybody else's response was going to be to what they were seeing. So they could take down that information and dose it back into the AI. Because as far as, as, far as military movements go, battles and such, they have ideas that, that this computer, this... AI program is going to be making the best decisions for the military on how they will, will do. Better so than a man could make. So when we look at this type of event, taking into consideration Jade Helm, my thinking on that is um, that this is probably somewhere possibly in the line with that. Not only will, will men be making decisions on what to do in this type of event, 
but I think that um, I think this information is probably also going to be fed into the AI because if they're so trusting in computers, programs, and artificial brain of AI, it would only make sense that the AI would also be given this information. So, do I think anything's going to happen in two days after the eclipse? <coughs> no. I don't, I don't think they're doing this because they know something is going to happen immediately. I think they are doing this because they know something is going to happen at some point ahead. And they want to get ahead of the curve, like they say in here, with preparedness. And they want to know how we're going to respond when whatever this is does happen. I don't think they're blowing the money that it's going to cost to, to do this practice run. I don't think they're doing that for nothing, although they could. I just got that feeling again that it's somehow tied in with with artificial intelligence and information because everyone involved that would be trying to restore order and functionality to the infrastructure or the power all their actions and decisions is something that AI would want to know about us human beings. How, how are we deciding to proceed in situations designed in this practice run? So that's just my thought. I can always be wrong, but It is what it is. They're going to be having a practice run. Nobody should be afraid. Just a bit of information that you can come and, and read this for yourself. Satisfy your own mind as to what do you think it is or do you even care that they're having it. It's just something that I've offered to you that you can do or not. So, everybody be safe tomorrow. You know, and everybody knows not to try to look at that eclipse with your just straight eyeball in it, but if you want to see it. I myself personally am not interested in looking at it. You know, just the fact that I know it's happening, and I can look outside, and I can see I'm getting some dimming and shading effect. You know, maybe the temperature is going to drop some degrees. That's good enough for me. Maybe I'll check back in later on when I get off work and look at someone that has, um, you know, used a viewing device and captured it and I'll just you know if I'll just watch it that way if I want to do it so y'all be good y'all be safe pray to the good Lord hunker down and get close to him and I'll see you soon